Math 7, welcome back. Today we're talking about making predictions, which is our first topic of the unit of statistics. What is statistics, you might ask? It is when we collect data and use it for something, okay? So one of the methods we use in statistics are called surveys, and it's how we collect, it's one way to collect data. Um, what we study is a, po a certain population, and when you look at a population, you don't necessarily need to take the whole thing, you can take a part of it, and the part is called a sample. So here we have dress code changes, uh, students in a middle school, and seventh graders in a middle school. So this would be the population, uh, sorry, this would be the sample, <laughs> and this is the population. Okay, sample is always smaller. Um, it's what you do to uh, make it so you don't have to ask everybody. You can just take a part of the population. Okay, here we have the customers at an ice cream shop in town and the residents of a town. So the town residents or population in the sample is a small piece that actually goes to the ice cream shop. Okay, so what we can do is use our uh, surveys to predict future amounts. So we, a survey found that six out of every 10 students have a blog. So what's the probability that a school, student at the school has a blog? So remember how to find probability. Take what you want over what there is. So six out of 10 times 100 to make it a percent, 60%. Suppose there are 250 students at the school. Okay, so you surveyed 10 and six have a blog. So we're gonna take this and you do your percent or fraction times the total population. 60% times 250 is 150 students. Okay, and it's easy as that. You can use it as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. Multiplied by the total population gives you your sample. Okay, based on your sample, rather. Sorry. <clears throat> now we can also start with a percent so if you look up here tvs in the bedroom 54 percent of children do not have a tv in the bedroom 46 percent do have a tv in the bedroom how many out of 1370 students have a television in the bedroom same basic principle you're going to take the total population times the percent you're looking for have a tv Th 1370 times oops i put minus 46 percent is 630.2, and you're gonna round that 0.2 off. You can't have part of a student, or child, uh, let's say child, yeah. children. 630 children have a TV in the bedroom, and it's as simple as that. So we can make a probability based on a survey, and then use that results to predict for a larger population, okay? Any questions, message me, talk to me in class. Do whatever it takes to dominate this lesson. Talk to you soon.